The aha moment was that when we started modeling this in the beginning and thinking about it a bit more, I was like, okay, but if it's actually true, then it's also financially it works well, which is important, right? Yeah. Otherwise you cannot scale it. And it can really, especially in combination with online, it can really be another good way of spending yeah. your growth budget. It is also not so different from yeah. it. And that also, I think that's really where having a digital origin helps when starting with coffee bars. Like we look at cohorts, we look at the development over month over month on the different baskets yeah. of types of customers, right? What is the frequency that this customer, the current order frequency that they're yeah. in? And how do we move more people to like a higher order frequency? Yeah. I mean, even without us really interfering that we already see that, right? In your cohorts, some people try it and never come back, but then a certain group, they always come back. Yeah. And that's every month the case. Yeah. And they come back and they start ordering more of that. And this is really talking from a financial point of view, but it is very important that that works, right? Yeah. And then... I think more from the customer point of view, you start with trying flat white. Maybe you never heard of a coolie. And then after yeah. a few times, you're like, okay, but I can, I also see this retail shelf. And the barista says like, hey, I see you come back a few times now. Yeah. You know that you can make this coffee at home as well, because that's really the goal of our shops. It is there to, for, to sell at home coffee yeah. also.